In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we add new assets into our network model. We can add new manholes, we can add new pipes, we can add new subcatchments, in fact we can add devices of any type. But for this tutorial, we're going to add a pipe and a manhole to the existing network. Let's start by thinking about the manhole. The manhole is a node and it will need some sort of naming convention. InfoWorks provides a number of options for naming new nodes in your model and we can pick that up from the network menu. By default, we can see that it will not automatically generate an ID. In other words, it'll be up to the user to give it a name. But if necessary, the software is able to use a ID generated based on the position within the network view. And from that point onwards, we have various coordinate systems available to us using X and Y with different uh, accuracies, or we can have UK grid systems or Irish grid systems, whatever network topology we like. In this particular case, we're going to use the UK grid system. and We can apply that particular button. Once that setting has been applied, all nodes from this point forward will have a UK naming system. So let's go up and use node and new node, pick up the new object, and we're going to put a brand new manhole at this particular road junction. We just click the mouse, and as you can see, based on the location of this particular network, it has been given a name automatically. We just accept that name by pressing OK. The new manhole will appear in the middle of the road where we put it, and over on the strip map we'll see the basic data about that particular node and all the defaults. We'll also see that there are uh, at least one item where there is a currently a validation error. Validation is done on the fly by InfoWorks ICM and as it stands there is no ground level data for this particular manhole which is a compulsory item if we come to simulate this particular network. So let's put in some data. The moment we enter our new level it immediately clears that particular error. Now we need to add in our new pipe and that is a link as far as the software is concerned. So we have a new link and the new link goes from this manhole through to this manhole here. And you can see the crosshairs tell us that that will automatically snap everything together. The software has automatically entered the information for the upstream and downstream nodes. We can give it a link suffix if we wish and press OK. Our new pipe has now been added to the network and as before it's shown on the GeoPlan view and there are a number of items in this particular case uh, three or four items like the pipe does not yet have a width it doesn't yet have an upstream invert level or a downstream invert level we could if we wish add in some information for that and the moment we do it'll clear out the items that are incorrect Finally, we can see here there's a pipe that's come in, it's been imported, but at the moment that is probably not the direction that the pipe would actually take. Let's take the look at the information for that particular pipe. We can see that a lot of that information was imported from a CSV file, and that didn't contain any of the geometry data. So, using the Edit Geometry button up on the toolbar, we can now add some extra bend points onto our pipe. And we do that by holding down the control key, clicking a number of times, and that will add in some bend points onto our particular pipe. And now we can pull those bend points in order to reshape our pipe and to make it follow more accurately the line of the road, which is almost certainly the route that the pipe will actually take in reality. Now while we were doing that, we have obviously changed the length of the pipe, but at the moment that pipe length has stayed exactly where it was before, the data has not been updated at the moment, so the length is still showing as 124 meters, and that's because that was the length that was brought in from the CSV file. However, if we change the flag to the default flag for that particular pipe, that pipe length will be recalculated and it's now 122.1, and that is the actual length of the line following the route that we have now taken between the two manholes. So we've shown you how to add in a new manhole, how to add in a new pipe, how to change the geometry of existing items, and how to correct errors as and when they're flagged up within the geoplan view and the associated grid strip map for the data.